Death rained down on Syria's largest city today. At least 60 people were killed, nearly half of them at a hospital. It was the starkest evidence yet that a two-month-old truce is now history. <laughs> Chaos in the darkness of Aleppo. An airstrike smashed this hospital, supported by the Red Cross and Doctors Without Borders, in a rebel-held section of the city. Among the dead, one of the region's last remaining pediatricians. This was a place for women to go and give birth. This was the place for children to go and get specialist treatment. It's now a pile of rubble. After sunrise, more strikes hit a residential neighborhood, and rescue workers scrambled to pull a young girl free. Here is a residential area. They're striking at residents. There are no terrorists here. At the same time, Syrian state media reported at least a thousand mortar rounds and rockets were fired into government-held areas of Aleppo. The attacks punctuate the collapse of a ceasefire in the country's largest city. The truce is also hanging by a thread in Homs, where an aid convoy was hit this week. For its part, Russia denied its warplanes carried out the hospital bombing in Aleppo. Instead, in Washington, a State Department spokesman said all signs point to the Syrian military. The indications that we have now, and again, this just happened, are that these, were, uh, that these strikes were conducted by the regime. And in a statement, Secretary of State John Kerry insisted Russia use its influence on President Bashar al-Assad to stop the attacks. The main Syrian opposition group joined in from Turkey, blaming Moscow and Damascus for the resumption of fighting. The regime, along with the Russians, are burying the cessation of hostilities by committing uh, crimes and massacres across Syria. And the U.N. Special Envoy for Syria, Stefan de Mistura, emerged in Geneva to say the ceasefire is still alive, but barely. He urged the United States and Russia to salvage the truce and bring the warring parties back to the table. The Russian Federation and the U.S., as you remember, had a very strong initiative which produced basically a miracle. And that produced the feeling of hope, unexpected hope, we need that to be urgently revitalized. As a humanitarian worker... There was also a dire warning from the head of the UN's humanitarian task force. He spoke of catastrophic deterioration in Aleppo. The lifeline to hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people that have had hopes that things would really go get better now, that lifeline may be broken. <laughs> Adding to the warning, the International Red Cross reported stocks of food and medicine in Aleppo will run out soon, and the resurgence of fighting makes it impossible to bring in more. We'll hear from Doctors Without Borders after the news summary.